Irv and Agave Farm. Molly Real likes the sound of that. So do I. So do I. She's getting a tour mm -hmm. this morning. Good morning, Hi. Molly. <laughs> Hello, good morning to morning. you. Yeah, you know, this is the Villa Agave, and you were talking earlier about Santa Monica, Ashley. Like, can you believe we're in Placerville? This feels like maybe we're in Mexico or Santa Fe or somewhere in the Southwest, but no, Placerville. This is such a unique B&B, &B. and I'll tell you what, we came in and you were just immediately greeted by a nice warm hug from Bonnie. <laughs> <laughs> so Bonnie, the Villa Agave, come on in, won't you? Uh, this this place is, a, is many things, but what is it to you? It is an a magical place where people can show up and be rejuvenated for when they return home. It's a comfy, cozy B&B, &B, uh, three rooms. Yeah. Let's take a little tour. So right here, we won't go too far into here because that's going to come up later. But of course, with a name like Villa Agave, there's going to be some tequila tasting that they're preparing <laughs> for. <laughs> <laughs> that's correct. So um, we offer a lot of interesting and unique experiences here at the Villa Agave. It isn't just a really basic bed and breakfast. And because we are an agave farm, this is one of the experiences that we offer. Beautiful, okay. And then putting the breakfast in bed and breakfast right over here. That's right, we offer a three course champagne breakfast to guests each morning. And that's a, a fun way to start the day. Beautiful, okay. This uh, puts the great in great room over here. Uh, it's a gathering space and tell me about that. And I mean, that's a big part of, of what this place is to you, right? That's correct. So. The, this is a bed and breakfast, but we also welcome small groups that can come and gather and be inspired by the villa. And this is a great space for that. But there are lots of little nooks and crannies where you can hang out and relax or, um, or meet and plan the rest of your life. <laughs> plan the rest of your life. Those are some big aspirations for the Villa Agave. Okay, so you opened in uh, the middle of 2020. Uh, so you've been open about three years and you offer, I mean, this is a retreat, a corporate retreat, family vacation, maybe a bachelorette party, but it can be a lot of different things. That's right, that's absolutely right. So as you mentioned, there are three suites upstairs. If uh, there are small groups coming, we have a, another suite that we can open up. But this is the Añejo suite. Um, each of our suites are named after tequila because the Villa Agave. Mm -hmm. And each of them has a theme which is redolent of the tequila that they represent. So we have Blanco suite, Reposado suite, and Añejo suite upstairs. And Añejo suite is of course our um, richest uh, richest suite. Uh, so we have all original artwork, incredible views, um, music, and lots of romance. I mean, can you just imagine resting your head here at night? Uh, okay, so this is just the beginning. We've seen the breakfast, we've seen the bed now, uh, but it's a retreat. There's a lot of wellness, there's a lot of environmental things. It's also an agave farm, tequila is important. You're on part of the uh, California Agave Council. There is right. so much to learn about the Villa Agave. That's so right. I hope you'll stick around because we will, and we'll show you so much more. Uh, but for now, Thank I'm just going to enjoy the hospitality here, you guys. <laughs> Isn't this incredible? I love it, and I love the idea of the tasting downstairs. All right, Molly, thank you. <laughs> See you a little bit later. All right, let's get over to, uh, get over to Tina with a look at your